Hello, good morning everyone. I am Brother Hosanna David. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share with us a dream that I had, which I believe is a warning to both pastors and to church members. We are living in the end time and these things are not strange for those of us believers who have the privilege of understanding the mystery of the things that are happening and the ones that are about to happen because they were all foretold in the Bible. We have the scripture and by the Spirit of God, the truth is revealed to us even as the Lord gives us enlightenment through His Spirit to enable us to understand the scriptures. I had a dream. I saw a man, he was sitting down, he's, he's somebody I don't know in real life. So he was sitting, he was not even putting on chat, uh, and uh, he looked so poor, he looked wretched, he was lonely, he wasn't happy, he was downcast. His countenance was very dull. As I was looking at him in the dream, I heard the voice of the Lord spoke to me that this pastor is a witch. This pastor is a witch. Immediately I heard that. I woke up from the dream. It looked like a vision anyway. So I was praying and asking the Lord that, what are you trying to tell me? And the Lord spoke to me and explained to me uh, what he actually mean and what he wants me to understand. He told me that the man I saw, the pastor I saw that does not look like a pastor, is uh, that person represents his pastor's bishops, prophets, evangelists, and uh, his leaders in the church, those of them that are possessed. And that the way the man looked, he was not putting on shirt, he said that is how they are naked before him. And that they look wretched, they are poor. Though in the world people may see them as rich, as hardworking, as spirit-filled, but because the Lord that sees the hearts of men and knows that uh, they are doing worthless work and have covenanted, covenanted themselves with the devil, the Lord sees them as wretched and poor. The Lord also told me to warn his church and warn his children that they should not in any way run after those who are possessed. The Lord told me that many of those people were possessed while they were still children and that when they grew up, they, because of shame or because of one reason or the other, they decided not to give up their spirits. The Bible makes us understand very clearly that nobody can serve two masters. We can't serve God and serve demons. We can't serve God and Mammon at the same time. There is no communion between light and darkness. So I want to address those people. I know this is not a very safe time for me to speak, but I've discovered that the time is not going to get safer. So we just have to speak the truth. People are dying. People are leaving the church to hell. So we have to speak the truth. What I mean by people are leaving the church to hell is that they, we know that we have just one opportunity to pass through this world. And once we pass through the earth, there is nothing we can do. There is no purgatory. There is no other place we can go other than facing the judgment of God and either go to heaven or go to hell. People are leaving the church to hell. Because after this earth, there is no other opportunity where we can have another chance and live to correct our mistakes. For those of you who are possessed and are mesmerizing, manipulating, bewitching the children of God because majority of them are blind. 
You are heaping wrath for yourself in the day of judgment. On that day of judgment, you are preparing to face the judgment of God. And it is going to be very, very hot for you. People see you that you are a man of God. People see you that you are a powerful man of God and that you are working for God. They don't know because they are blind. They don't know that you are on assignment for Satan the devil. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 4, if you read verses 1 and 2, that the time is coming where there shall be heresy and people shall give it to seducing spirits. If you were one of them that are working with the spirit of demons and seducing spirits, you have to repent. The Lord used me to deliver a message which I posted online. It's on uh, Ego Eye Opener, even on my uh, YouTube channel, Hosanna E.E. E. David. If you are a pastor or you are a believer, you want to listen to it, you can listen to it. It is a serious warning to pastors and false prophets. False pastors and prophets. I'm not saying that everybody is... A, is false but majority i mean majority this end time are false and that is why we can see people who sleep with other people's wives who do all sorts of things and perform magic in the name of god and in the name of miracles if you are among those who are using those evil powers to work for god in quotes because i know and god himself knows that you are not working for him you will lament in hell. Do you know how much a single soul costs to God? Do you know the value of a single soul and you are deceiving people because of your stomach? If you have thrown your stomach, your belly as your God, why not you leave this work and become a froster in the world and let everybody know that you are a froster? Why don't you become an arm robber? Why do it in the name of God to deceive the children of God? You are causing more havoc. If you are an robber or you are a froster, the people should know that you have uh, come out in this way. Why come out in the name of God? The Bible says, let me tell you one big sin you are committing. Each time you use those evil spirits to deliver prophecies and deliver visions and you claim them to have come from God, you lie against the Holy Spirit. And the Bible, Jesus said it clearly that the sin against the Holy Spirit, if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, it is an unforgivable sin. So you have been condemned and you have condemned yourself forever and you will pay. And this time, the Lord uses me to deliver a message like this. Even other children of God deliver messages like this. You go and fight them. Now you can go and fight and kill as much as, much as you can. You can kill our souls. You can only kill the body. That means if God gives you the opportunity, if God allows it. Let me tell you, a day is coming that the prophets you kill, the true preachers you kill, you shall cry. If you, I mean, if you fail to repent, you shall cry and tell them to dip their fingers into water and come and give you a drop of water in hell. You have the time. Do you think that God is a fool? He kept quiet and prophet, first, first men of God like you crucified Jesus Christ. And God was silent. He kept quiet. The Jesus said, no prophet perishes outside Jerusalem. Is Jerusalem a pagan nation? The church, the Jewish church, and the early church, and even till now, have been in the, in the business of killing the true children of God. So you can go ahead and register yourself among those people. But I warn you and the Lord is warning you that you have to call yourself to order. Because you have done a lot of havoc. Jesus Christ is not happy. Jesus Christ is pained in his heart. Because of you, ordinary dust that came out of this earth that will soon vanish away. Call yourself to order. If you want to repent, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to deliver you. But you have to be ready to give up all these things and forget about shame. 
There are many of you who were possessed when you were just children. It wasn't your fault. I know some of your parents should be held accountable for being negligent enough to allow you to be possessed. And some of your parents even possess you. But that is not the concern now. The concern is that now that you have grown up and you know what is right and what is good, but you refuse to do the right thing, but you refuse to come to Jesus Christ and be delivered from this evil spirit. In, 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 instead of getting deliverance, you are now using these powers to bewitch the children of God. This is your judgment because light comes to the world, but people like you reject the light because your works are evil. And when you see true children of God, you fight them and make sure that you kill them so that they don't expose your work of darkness. How many will you kill? Your time is expiring. Men of God, fake prophets and pastors, repent. Repent. Hell is waiting for you if you fail to repent. It is waiting for you. All your money, all your private jets, and all the money, all, all the name you make in the world, they will perish. They are not going to save your soul. Denounce and renounce every covenant that you have with the devil. And confess your sins. The Lord will save you. For those of you who are church members and you don't care about your soul, you believe you can live your life the way you want, you believe you can do the things the, the same way, you can do things the same way those in the world do things, and you believe that the devil will leave you alone. And by the time the devil comes after you, you run to this false prophet. Because you have itching ears, you don't want to hear the truth. Repent too. Because you have become a, a spiritual prostitute. And you prostitute yourself before the devil and you go back to God and ask him for cleansing. Immediately he cleanses you. You go back to the same devil. Stop living this kind of lifestyle. Heaven is at hand. Jesus is about appearing. Get ready, church. The devil goes to church. Get ready. Get ready. The time is at hand. Don't you see that everything spoken of in the Bible is coming to pass before our very eyes? Everything is coming to pass. The very elect are being deceived. Why don't we wake up, church? Why don't you get ready to die with your problems instead of taking them to the devil for solution? Many of these pastors and false prophets, you see, they have covenanted them, their souls to the devil. Have you not read your Bible in Matthew chapter 4 that Satan took Jesus up to the pinnacle? He took him up and tempted him. And even in another occasion, he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glories. And asked him to bow down and worship him. The same way Satan has taken Many men of God up and has shown them the glory of the world, has shown them the kingdom of the world, the wealth of the world, and they have decided to worship him. That is why they can tell you the truth. Upon how wicked the world has become today, they don't see anything bad in what the world is doing. They are so happy because they are interested in the number populating the kingdom of hell. And blind Christians are following them. Both you and those false pastors are fulfilling scriptures. You are fulfilling end time scriptures. So don't be happy because these are plays and scriptures. You are fulfilling the scriptures. And it pains my heart that you are among them. You have to repent and come back to God. Because the time for repentance is now. There are some of you who will hear this message and you will never have opportunity to have hear a message like this again. So the Bible says, if you hear his voice, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Do, if the Lord is telling you to retrace your step, please do not harden your heart. Come back to God. I pray that the Lord will bless his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. Now, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channels, Ozana E.E. E. David and Ego Ayopna. Visit my websites, www.egoayopna.com and 
uh, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Remain rapturable. The Lord is coming. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.